So I know you all have heard the news. The Chinese government even told their people, you better stockpile food for the winter or you're going to go hungry. What can 300 bucks get you? Get you. You're looking at it right here, folks. Just a little over $300 right here. Went to Walmart. Did some major shopping. As you can see, I've got a ton of everything. Now, this is going to put me up and over my yearly supply of food put back in case of emergencies. Now, something you do have to remember real quick that I want to cover. You may be helping out family members. I have been known to send care packages to family members, especially when Charlie Victor 19 hit. We all know what that looked like. Remember? Here, let me give you a refresher. Watch this. Lord have mercy. Soup aisle. I think it's uh, Armageddon or something. So as you can see, that's what happens when mass panic sets in. So what do we do if something happens with the economy and it falls apart like a lot of the economists are saying? What are we going to do if they can't get all these ships unloaded and then they can't get all the products and the goods that they need to be taken to certain warehouses to manufacturers to people that make our food that produce the cans that produce whatever it is it's all being held up we have mandates now that you know the good old president here has said that he's going to be putting in place starting on january 4th now the reason he did select that date is you're not going to do it during christmas and hurt all the businesses and everything because the more money the businesses make the more money the government makes so they're not going to cut off their hand despite their foot if you get what i'm saying so they put these mandates and stuff in a lot of the the huge trucker unions have already stated they have stated folks that if they're not exempt from this they think they have a trucking shortage now and moving goods across the country and everything else when half of the truckers could walk if they're forced to get, you know what? Well, it can only be a matter of time before we even know what is going to take place. We don't know what's going to happen. We don't know who's going to do what. Some of these mandates and stuff is like throwing gasoline on the fire. You're about ready to have a big explosion. And if you're not prepared, you're not going to be able to survive. So we start off, you know, I got a ton of pasta. All right, pasta and rice. There's 40 pounds of rice, and Lord have mercy, there's God only knows how many boxes of pasta. All different types of pasta. Lasagna, angel here, thin. We got elbows, we got peony, we got bow ties, we've got shells, we got all kinds of stuff. All right, let's we'll start off with the dry goods. All right, so stocked up on all that kind of stuff. Now, a lot of this stuff we're going to be eating. So my pantry is a rotating pantry. Now, I am going to be taking and either putting a lot of stuff in Marlar bags or vacuum seal them to make sure that in the end, this stuff's going to last for a long time. And you move on down through, you know, over here. I got some cocoa. Hey, why not? You know, I mean, everybody likes to have maybe some chocolate cake, a brownie or something like that. You know, so you always want to make sure that you have something on hand like this. Uh, brown sugar. We got five packs of brown sugar. We got 20 pounds of regular sugar, uh, 25 pounds of flour. I picked up an extra baking powder just because it's probably something that you're going to really need. Dry goods as far as these, these aren't like long-term things, okay? This is something that we all enjoy. I take one of these every day in my, in my breakfast when I go to work, you know? So I like these. But the date on them, they're good until July of next year. You know, so I'm going to eat those. I take one a day. There's five in a box. So, you know, there's not really that much there. There's um, one, two, three, four, five, six, six weeks. That's what that'll last me. The most expensive thing that you see on this table right here, folks, believe it or not, is the peanut butter, the two-pack. That was the most expensive thing on this table. Now, peanut butter is great because you can do a lot of different things with peanut butter. And your dry goods, you also want to make sure 
it's always nice to have like chicken broth or beef broth and things of that nature. When you start dealing with cans and, and the containers that they do come in and everything, well, it doesn't always have um, as long, long shelf life. And if it does, you have to have even more room to store it. So a good alternative is, is to buy your bullion, chicken and beef. These things will last for freaking ever. And you always have something if you're making a, um, say, a chicken pot pie, a beef stew, something like that. You got something you can throw in it. Went down here at this end down here, picked up some cornbread. I love cornbread. So we picked up the Jiffy cornbread. A lot of this stuff is still relatively uh, very inexpensive. I was quite shocked. Canned goods and stuff. A lot of the Walmart canned goods that you can see. Some of them are still 50 cents a can, folks. Oh, your green beans, your peas, your beets. All that kind of stuff they're still 50 cents a can now the corn and stuff that you see right down in here i do buy a different corn because my wife doesn't really like corn out of a can but those she'll eat so you have to buy what you're going to eat don't buy stuff that you're not going to get eat because then it's just a waste of your money we got all different types of meats now i have chicken i have roast beef i have beef tips I have barbecue pulled pork. I bought Walmart's brand, basically Spam, you know, but it's just as good and it's only $1.98 a can. Corned beef hash is down there. I got Hormel chili. Now we love the Hormel chilies. It's just one of our favorites. I got the beans and no beans. It's just a great thing to have on hand because it's something you can open and just eat. Vienna sausages. It's a really dire situation. Vienna sausages will come in real handy. If you cook them and you take them, fry them up or something, they're not really that bad. They, they you know, a lot of people don't like them because they're mushy. But you pick up a whole pack of these for a little over five bucks. Gives you something to eat. We're talking emergency survival food here, folks. All right, I've got spinach, I got peas, I got carrots, all different types of products. And it's all right here. And it cost me less than $300. Now, granted, a lot of this stuff you would only use or eat if it was an emergency type situation. And that could be coming very soon with the writing on the wall that is going on in this country. I hope it doesn't come to that, but I think everybody should be prepared because even the Chinese government, like I said, did warn their people last week that they need to stockpile food for the winter. Now winter is six months. A lot of people believe that after the first of the year there's going to be a lot of things that are going to fall into play. A lot of things are going to change. There's going to be a lot of different changes and if these mandates go in I think it's going to turn into a hornet's nest and you want to be prepared. So this is what $300 can get you. This is your $300 shopping spree that I did at Walmart and you see you got everything oh i forgot my mushrooms pizza you can make your own pizza you got plenty of flour and stuff make your own pizza dough and just make your own pizza dough and then turn around and you can put some sauce on there you throw some cheese if you have cheese mushrooms whatever black olives all those different type of things and have your own pizza at home you won't have to worry about paying those astronomical prices that are probably headed to all the stores and the restaurants because Restaurants can only afford to keep their prices a relatively inexpensive outing for a family. So it may come down to where you're going to want to make sure that you are doing what you need to do. And you're prepping and you're ready. And here it is. Here's your proof, folks. 300 bucks, And that sets you up for a very long time. And you would be very well off to have a lot of these different products to add to your preps i would also encourage everyone not just to think about all your food products paper products we use a lot of paper products just to try to save water depends on what you're eating there's some things you can't eat off paper i get it but there's a lot of things that you can if you're making yourself a sandwich if you're making yourself toast if you're having a bowl of cereal you can use these bowls i mean it doesn't really matter and you just throw them in the trash or it's a paper product, you can burn it if you had to. Just for saying. 
So you want to make sure that you're going through not just all your food products, but you also want to make sure that you're going through everything else that you use all the time, you and your family, from toothpaste, toiletries, cleaning supplies, whatever it may be, baking goods, spices, all that different types of stuff. It's very good to have a plan. It's better when your plan is put in place and you have something like this makes you feel real good, warm and fuzzy inside, knowing you're ready. And I know that if something happens to my family members, no matter where they're at, as long as I can still ship, which I could almost bet you that will never stop, I'll be able to help them out in a time of need if they don't have something or they need something. I want everybody to get out there. Take a little bit of your cash or put a little cash away each week and then hit the stores. But your time is slowly running out, folks. I can't stress this enough. You need to do this now as soon as you can because after the first of the year, things are going to start going downhill. Things are not going to be the same. Things are going to go up in price. Once the holiday season really kicks in is why I've told you that you need to make sure that you are prepared to make sure that you're buying whatever it is you're going to use for your holiday meals between Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Year's. A lot of people are going to start trying to buy this stuff with the worries of all the shortages. So they want to make sure that they have everything that they need from soup to nuts and are ready to go for their holiday festivities that are coming around the corner. And which, more than likely, once the holidays have come and gone, you're going to see probably even more shortages on the shelf or lack thereof. So I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. Thank you very much for joining me on this video today. I want everybody to thrive, to survive, keep prepping, hit the store, 300 big ones, three bills, and get you all set up for you and your family. Till next time, I'll catch all of you on the flip side.